I stand before them. Their queen. On the eve of war. And like so many before me, I don't know if I'm ready. But that is of no importance now. My people, our home, this victory. They are the only things that matter. I will march my people in and stand beside them. Fight beside them. Until victory. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I have something so freaking special for you guys. This is my entry into the NYX Face Awards 2016 and I am very excited to bring you my post-apocalyptic queen. Now I worked super hard on this video and I really, really hope you guys enjoy it and if you do, please give it a share and let's get started. So first I'm going to go ahead and use a stencil around my neck to start giving myself a fake tattoo. Basically what I'm doing here is stippling on some black grease paint with a sponge all over the stencil. And you really want to be careful not to kind of get underneath the stencil because it will mess it up, you know what I mean? So now I'm taking off the stencil and it stuck to my hair so it kind of hurt. Ow and wiping off the excess, even though I then decided that I wanted to continue the little line at the bottom to kind of start to blend that out. And now I am going in with this small brush and blending that downward. In retrospect, I would have used a bigger brush, but um, this is what we're working with. Now I'm just darkening things up a little bit making that fade a little more dramatic. Now I'm taking that same stencil but cut in half and taping that to my shoulder and going in and doing the same exact thing on my shoulder. Now I am taking it off and wiping off the excess and then I'm going in and doing kind of the same exact thing that I did on the top one where I am shading near the line. Now I'm going in and doing the exact same thing on the other shoulder and then taking it off and shading above the line. And then blending things out with that sponge. Now I'm taking my lines and bringing them downward to come to a point and then shading upwards to create this kind of necklace tattoo looking thing. Now taking this small brush dipped in makeup remover and going in to clean up that point. We want it to look flaky girl. Now I am taking a foundation powder and pressing that into my skin. This is the best way to set grease paint and it actually makes it look so much more like a real tattoo. Now I am like vigorously dusting this off and as you can see the tattoo has a bluish toned feel so that it looks like it's coming from underneath my skin and not sitting on top of it. Like a real tattoo does. Now I'm taking a piece of tape and putting that on my forehead at an angle and doing the same on the other side so that I can get a very straight line. Now I'm taking that same black grease paint and that small brush and lining those pieces of tape and then taking it off and ripping off my hair again and then 
kind of evening out the lines and thickening them a bit. Now I'm taking another smaller piece of tape and put pl placing that e above the first line and going ahead and doing the same thing. Now I'm taking a orange concealer and filling in the top of my head and then going in with back with the black um, grease paint and shading closest to the line. Now I'm taking my finger to blend the both the both blend both of them together. And now I am going in with the tape again over my nose to create a very sharp line and taking it down my cheek. And I'm placing that same tape underneath my eye to continue that line and again here just to kind of get a good guide and a decently straight line. Then after that I did the same thing on the other eye and then started to shade upward with the black grease paint. You guessed it. Now I'm taking a red grease paint and going underneath my eyes. And then on top of my eyes and blending upward. Just want to drag everything up. It doesn't have to be pretty, guys. This is going to be a post-apocalyptic queen. Her war paint is sometimes runny, but we're going to blend it beautifully. You'll see. Now, I'm taking my ring finger and starting to blend the black and the red together and blend them upward. Going in with a little more red and dragging upward a bit more. And then going back in with my finger and blending things out. Blend, blend, blend. Now I'm taking my black on a brush and blending upward above my nose. And then going up along my eyebrows as well. Then I'm just blending everything out at the top so it looks kind of like pressed into my skin and worn. Now I'm setting my eyelids with a little bit of powder so that um, they don't crease and get kind of gross. I think in real life they might get gross, but for the purpose of this, we're going to keep them nice. Now I'm filling in my brows a little bit and dragging them upward to kind of angle and be scary. Um, now I'm taking some wax and going ahead and creating my fake scar. This is a little bit hard to do on camera, but basically I use petroleum jelly and to make sure this didn't stick to my knife, and then I smooth out all the edges. In between my scar, I decided that my black needed to blend it up a little bit further, so I am blending the black up my face a little further to kind of get rid of that really really bright red and also as you can see I've applied some false lashes to dramatize the look now going up on the top where I'm putting my top scar and just dragging the wax so that it kind of adheres to my skin then taking my nice butter knife because I couldn't find my spatula and um, smoothing out all of the edges. It's a pretty simple technique. Um, the wax is a little bit hard to work with. Now I'm taking my foundation and going in and pressing that all over the place, places where I don't have any other paint and just being really careful around the scar so that it doesn't move anywhere. Now I'm just setting my face with some translucent powder And then I'm taking a white and a red mixed grease paint and popping that on the scar just to brighten it a little bit, make it stand out. And then taking a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of red grease paint on the sides of the scar to make it look a little bit irritated still.
Now I'm taking some black on a brush, the black grease paint, and blending that all over my lips kind of give a really dirty, grungy feel. Then I'm blending all of that out with my finger, dragging it kind of all around my mouth, around my chin, and upward to kind of give just a really dirty look. Now I'm taking a brown contouring shadow and a brush and contouring my cheekbones to give it a really sunken in look and then blending out with my finger. Now I'm taking some more black grease paint and kind of just really just dragging down the paint at the top. I kind of let the brush really loosen my hand, tried to get it in like a natural way as if it maybe dripped down because I was sweating or something. So that's it guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos of mine and I really, really hope that we make it through to the top 30. I worked so hard on this video and I really hope that you guys like it and if we make it through the top 30, make sure you vote and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!